I'm joined here in the World Cup by Dana Rinezzi Orzola. Dana is Deputy Chair of the Management Board of FIDE and she's here for a small chat with, with us to talk about the World Cup and other decisions and uh, projects that are in the pipeline. Dana, Hi. how are you doing? Hi, I'm happy to be here in Baku at the World, Ch uh, World uh, Cup. So first of all, are you rooting for any special player today in the second round? Uh, not really. I like the beauty of the chess and uh, the dynamics of the chess tournament in general. And uh, it's uh, more or less so that only when few players are left on the stage, then you uh, choose the preferences. <laughs> I talked to several of the players these days and everyone is absolutely uh, content and happy with the playing venue, with the conditions. What do you think about the hotel, playing conditions, the city? I think the organizational level is, of course, uh, great. I was looking forward to come back to Baku because Baku is a special place for me. Back in 2016, I was playing here at the World Chess Olympiad on board one of my country. Now, when I work for chess, I don't have much time to play chess myself, but I have a special sentiment for this place. So uh, they know how to do the events. And uh, this is another country where they love chess players. And I think chess players also feel that the respect, the love, the appreciation is there. And then you also feel like home and uh, can concentrate on the game and um, yeah. So um, yesterday, uh, Dana, uh, I know you're here as one of the organizers, but also because of the FIDE Council, you take advantage of these big tournaments to, to meet. Any interesting uh, decisions, any important uh, announcements that you can uh, you can tell us here in the interview. Yeah, one of the interesting ones is that, uh, you know, the next year we will celebrate one, uh, FIDE 100 years anniversary. So we will uh, uh, went through the program, but it seems that we will uh, enter into the new century of, uh, of uh, FIDE with 200 members because uh, the council approved Tongo as the potential member, They're still to be confirmed by the General Assembly, mm -hmm. but 200, that's a nice uh, 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 number. So uh, one new thing was that uh, we confirmed I mean, the council um, uh, approved uh, 92 new school instructor titles. So now the educators also have the same status as the trainers, arbiters and uh, international organi organizers. And uh, this is the result of our educational commission that uh, provides the training, the new uh, preparation of teachers courses, quality ones, uh, great support, I think, for those federations, those countries that uh, want to introduce chess in education. So uh, FIDE calendar was updated. We've got uh, many bids for the youth, senior uh, and other uh, events. So the preliminary decision, de decisions were made uh, on that and many other formal uh, 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 items that will soon be published on FIDE. So very productive then. Um, Dana, uh, recently I saw you in uh, China in the world's women uh, match between Zhu um, uh, Enjun and Li Tingli. So, um, how is China shaping up as a chess country with the two world champions now from China? What is your experience from there? I think uh, many more are to come <laughs> from China. The rest of the world will need to somehow... Mm, uh, India, China and Kazakhstan. <laughs> We'll have to yes uh, uh, invest a lot uh, because uh, to 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 keep uh, up the same pace because you see that there's the whole infrastructure there and uh, and uh, many resources are in uh, invested in in growing the future champions starting from the school chess educational chess to the top level preparation of their national teams so uh, we also visited Hangzhou uh, where there is a new brand new built uh, brain sports building where the national team of China uh, the chess team is training seven hours a day you know a very sportive uh, regime so the talents are really cultivated uh, uh, there but the event itself also was really nice I mean uh, two great personalities were fighting I mean they're excellent players but also so humble so nice so outgoing both uh, Ju Wen Jun and Lei Ting Jie and the quality of chess was great those who were following the match uh, I think noticed that and some there were some comments like okay they're playing real main chess no no they don't play main chess they, they just play, play very good games actually very good games and you know uh, to keep the level uh, for such a long period mm -hmm. uh, as the match uh, itself uh, that's something mm -hmm. i appreciated that so just before the round today uh, there was a, an announcement and a prize giving of the queen's festival tell me a bit about, uh, tell us a bit more about the queen's festival what it is 
how it works. Yeah, FIDE wants to take care not only about the professional uh, chess players, uh, but also about, uh, uh, about those women who, um, who have chess as their hobby or who's used to play chess and now coming back or who just enter the chess world. So one of our initiatives is uh, to organize the online Queen's Festival. So that's targeted to uh, women in the whole world who want to engage. It doesn't take much time, so it's online. You can combine it with your family life or work life. And this year, it was already the third edition uh, July uh, and June and July, the, where, where, the, where, where the tournament was uh, was organized, more than 500 ladies from 124 countries were participating, and uh, we uh, uh, made special awards for. Uh, the winner of each of the continents. So there is a queen of Europe now coming from Azerbaijan. Is Maile, Ma Malik? Uh, she won the uh, Malak. She won the the, the uh, European competition, and we took the chance to praise the success of the host of the World Cup. Mm -hmm. Um, one last question, uh, Dana. I know you're very passionate about the program of uh, chess in prisons. You are a teacher yourself in uh, prison in uh, Labia. So this year, I think it's the fourth year, possibly, of the online championship. How are things shaping up for October for the inter inter intercontinental online chess Championship for Prisoners. Yeah, Chess for, chess for chess, Freedom. Chess, chess, uh, chess. Uh, it is really the program that I enjoy uh, so much indeed because I see uh, how life-changing ch uh, chess can be. Because in a short time you see how uh, from a just this organized group of people, you can um, make a super motivated team who, su uh, who support each other. You give the people the second chance. So this year it's the third edition of our Intercontinental uh, Online Chess Championship. Um, and now we aim to reach 64 countries uh, from all, all over the world. Last year it was 46 countries, 85 teams, men, women, youth, so uh, people who represent their countries and, 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 uh, and are very proud of that. So looking forward to having new teams on board because, uh, okay, this is the highlight event that they prepare for and uh, get motivated very much. But behind that, you have the whole program that uh, helps them to re-socialize and makes the society mm. a more safe and a better place. Dana, I can tell you, alas, look at the camera. Dana, you're very passionate yes, I for chess. chess. I, 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 you can send, when I talk to you, I can sense that you're really passionate. You really enjoy what you're doing. And I think this is the type of person that's very good to, to, to promote the sports all over the world. Thank you very much, Dana. Thank you so much.